Top Defense News Alpha Design Technologies Private Limited has delivered the first Surya VHF radar to the IF, capable of detecting stealth targets. System has 70% indigenous content. IF contracted ADTL to supply six URI VHF radar systems in 2024. The total contract was valued at approximately 200 crore. The Indian Navy was prepared to target Karachi Naval Port on May 10 morning with its armada moving 260 miles off Makaran coast but the Pakistan DGMO called up. $600 million contract was signed in 2020, but Boeing has failed to deliver even a single Apache helicopter to Indian Army, that was originally scheduled for May 2024. Barrett Electronics Limited has signed a major contract with the Indian Army Air Defense for the supply of the Integrated Drone Detection and Interdiction System, an advanced indigenous counter-drone solution jointly developed with DRDO. The system is designed to detect, track, and neutralize hostile drones, providing critical protection against emerging aerial threats in complex operational environments. GE Aerospace has committed to doubling F404. IN20 engine production for Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, from 12 to 24 units per year by 2027, addressing a 14 month delay that disrupted the Tejas LCAMK1A program. The delay, caused by a dormant production line and supply chain issues, impacted HAL's timeline for delivering 83 jets under a question mark 48,000 crore IF contract, with 97 more jets planned. The F404, IN20, Delivering 84 kn thrust, is critical for the Tejas MK-1A, and GE's ramp-up supports HAL's goal of producing 16-24 jets annually by 2029. The first engine was delivered in March 2025, with 11 more expected by year-end. The partnership also eyes F-414 co-production for future LCA MK-2 and AMCA programs. Starting in 2026. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will upgrade and overhaul the Indian Air Force's Tejas MK-1 fleet, aligning the older IOC and FOC variants with the advanced Tejas MK-1A standards. The phased program prioritizes avionics enhancements, including ESA radar, improved electronic warfare systems, and advanced weaponry integration like the Astra BVR missile, while avoiding costly structural changes like air intake redesign. This approach ensures cost-effectiveness extends airframe service life, and enhances combat capabilities for modern warfare, maintaining operational readiness with minimal downtime. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will equip the Indian Air Force's 6IL-78 MKI tankers with indigenously developed software-defined radios, SDRs, enhancing secure communications and interoperability. The SDRs, developed by DRDO and Barrett Electronics Limited, replace outdated analog systems, offering jam-resistant, flexible voice and data transmission. This upgrade enables seamless integration with IAF fighters, AWACS, and ground stations, boosting mission efficiency and situational awareness for long-range operations, critical for countering regional threats from Pakistan and China. The Defense Research and Development Organization Chief, Samir V. Kamat, expressed confidence in global demand for India's indigenously developed Akashtir air defense system following its stellar performance in Operation Sindor. The fully automated, mobile system, which integrates radars, sensors, and communication technologies, effectively detected and neutralized enemy aircraft, drones, and missiles, proving its value in modern warfare. Kamat highlighted India's progress toward self-reliance in defense but noted further work is needed for complete Atmanurbhar status. He also emphasized that future conflicts will combine conventional and emerging technologies like drones and electronic warfare. The Indian Army is seeking industry proposals for drone-delivered anti-personnel warheads to enhance its precision strike capabilities, focusing on fragmentation or blast fragmentation designs for use with FPV and kamikaze drones. This initiative part of the Army's Vision 2047 for drone-centric warfare, aims to bolster counterinsurgency and border security operations, drawing lessons from global conflicts like Russia-Ukraine. Recent demonstrations, including a jam-proof FPV drone and kamikaze drone tests, highlight India's progress. The warheads will prioritize safety, with dual safety mechanisms, to counter evolving threats, particularly from Pakistan's drone usage and complement platforms like DRDO Netra and Archer NG. 
In a recent conflict, the Indian Air Force used the S-440 and 6E missile to target a Pakistan Air Force Saab AWACS aircraft at a range of nearly 300 kilometers. Though the missile had a low kill probability, its debris was found in Pakistan's Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, causing the PAF to limit AWACS operations, reducing their situational awareness. The IAF capitalized on this, striking a PAF hangar, injuring personnel, and killing squadron leader Usman Yousaf, further disrupting PAF's AWACS capabilities. This showcased the IAF's effective use of the S-400, shifting the aerial theater's dynamics in India's favor. Thanks for watching.